May 17, 2020 started off with the usual anticipation of every other chase day. You talk with your friends about how you couldn't sleep last night because of how excited you were. You discuss the big parameters demarcating the volatile environment for severe weather in your target area. You give all your reasons for why today is a chase day. You can't help but hype the day up a little bit on your drive to your target. And you make adjustments on the fly when you see the obvious tornado producer forming on radar. We pick up the action with the classic sky that chasers long for when they're driving toward their storm. Supercell thunderstorms can be some of the most amazing, awe-inspiring sights on the planet. The business area should be just where it was. And they can look like this. Two mile or something, maybe a little less. You can see how uh, distinct all the features are. This is a low-topped mini supercell. Illinois is famous for them. They're like supercells that you know, but smaller. This high precipitation mini supercell is only a few miles wide from the forward flank region where we are now. I believe that's the business area right over the road right now. To the mesocyclone where we're heading. Yeah, okay. Now we're seeing some features. Cool. It's about 4.08 p.m. and unbeknownst to me, this area has been a tornadic circulation for over two minutes now. Yeah, they just tornado warned it. I say unbeknownst because I had to close to within less than a mile to see any of the mesocyclone or rear flank downdraft features. Even at this point, well within a mile, I could only definitively say that there's a tornado cyclone here. It wasn't obvious that there was a tornado in progress. Yeah, strong rotation just to the left. Okay, now it's obvious, and I'm close. This is a wide angle shot, and the small size of the storm gives the illusion that I'm farther away than I actually am. I'd estimate that the tornado is only maybe a few hundred yards to my west. Truthfully, this is a point I could have probably been more aggressive. But I forgot that the storm motion was north-northeast instead of east, and I wanted no part of even a weak tornadic circulation, so I gave it some space. The area of interest continues just to my left, in front of me. Circulation in front of me now. Given the reflectivity presentation and all of the interference from other showers and storms around it, I knew this tornado wouldn't last long at this point. You can see the mesocyclone decaying of the road even while the tornadic circulation continues, and it's still a pretty cool sight to see. But from birth to death, it survives longer than I'd have ever guessed. Okay, we got westerlies. I get my last couple of looks at the tornado at 4.13 p.m. to the east of Jacobs Road, and it dissipates shortly after. Oh, and that message earlier? I absolutely tweeted to the National Weather Service in Lincoln. I guess pulling a needle out of a meteorological haystack makes you feel less embarrassed. It's just yet another reminder to keep your head in the clouds because the sky is always up to something.